The van is so nearly finished. And in this video, I want to show you how I built this slide out drawer bed and all the rest of the work that I've been doing on the van over the past few weeks. As you can see, I'm in a different location to where I filmed my previous van build videos, and that's because I moved house. I have sat here for the last year and edited, I think, over 60, 70 videos. I have slept in this bed for over 200 nights. And I've cooked hundreds of meals on that stove top. Change isn't easy. You know, when you get comfortable with something, when you do something every single day, you get into the rhythm of life making a change from that can be hard. And I'm not only feeling a little bit emotional about leaving this flat that I have spent the last year at, I'm also quite scared. I'm not really sure what the next year is gonna hold. Currently, I've just got to get all of this stuff in this house out because otherwise I'm gonna be kicked out by the landlord. Let's move house, shall we? The Last Supper. I raise a toast to all the people who I've shared this table with the last year. Thank you for being part of my life. I'll see you on the other side. I'm getting closer and closer to my deadline. I go to Europe in about three weeks and my van still is nowhere near completed. I'd like to just set the scene. I moved out of the flat that I was renting about 20 minutes down the road and moved back into my parents' house. But I don't hope to stay here. I don't want to, you know, lean on my parents my whole life. But it just seemed like the right option right now where I don't really know where I'm gonna live. I haven't really got a very stable income. I'm staying here until my van is finished and then hopefully I'm gonna be on the road and doing lots of traveling. And this driveway here is gonna be the space that I'm going to finish my van in. Oh yeah, that's my dad's Mini. I swear Minis are just the cutest, best looking cars ever. I'll tell you a little bit more about this later on and how we managed to get hold of it. I'm in here to get my tools. So this is how my bed is gonna be. It's gonna cover up almost half of the floor space of the van. I had lots of comments on the last video from people saying I should have a lift up cupboard rather than a pull out drawer. Now I really wanted the pull out drawer as like an outdoor cooking area, but the drawer is only gonna be up to here. It's only one meter long. So I thought for this section here, I'll have a lift up lid and then this back section will be a drawer. So I'm actually gonna make the bed in two different sections. So I'm gonna cut this wood in half and just focus on making the drawer section of the bed. These things are apparently heavy duty runners and they can hold up to 100 kilograms. So I could actually get into that drawer and be inside it. Looks like they run on little ball bearings and that slides out. Whoa, it's so smooth. All right, let's measure up the wood against these and then we can start putting things together. I know what I need to do. I need to screw this bit of wood into that bit of wood, but I don't know how I'm gonna keep this upright without it just falling over. My problem solving part of my brain is broken. I mean, it's always been broken, but it's more broken now. There we go. That's gonna hold one side up, and this bucket will hold the other side up. I've got a box of screws. I'm gonna use some wood glue. I'm a little bit worried about my thin screws. Everything's going swimmingly. Okay, there's glue all over me. Now I've got to make the drawer that goes inside of this. These runners are complicated. Making the drawer was pretty much the same process, just a slightly smaller size, so it would fit inside the bed. But 
We're getting somewhere now. We've got the two sides for the drawer. So we'll go about there. This is my view right now. It's a lovely sunny day in England. This is really hot. And there is a mini, a 1979 mini. My dad learned to drive in one of these when he was a kid and uh, he's been dreaming for many years of getting a mini again. And the other day, myself and my dad went up to this guy and uh, bought a mini. What kind of person buys a mini? It's, this is the oldest car I've ever sat in, I think. I want to take this little cute car and go on a road trip. Mm -hmm. like, drive up somewhere really beautiful, like Scotland, park next to a nice lake, set up a barbecue in the back and, you know. I also want to use it occasionally on a Sunday morning, going to uh, pop into the local farmer's market, picking up some groceries, you know. Mm. From my point of view, it is just a characterful old car that I really like the look of. But to you, it's a bit more than than that. Like, there's a deeper reason why you, you wanted a Mini, right? It's what I learned to drive in um, when I was young. How old were you? That's a lot on... 19. 19. You were driving one of these. There's a lot of nostalgia mm -hmm. when you get old mm. and you haven't got much to look forward to in life. Yeah. You start looking backwards. And it's part retirement project. So it will give me a project to do, which is to completely strip it down and rebuild it in the perfect form that I think a Mini should be. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a Mini. I mean... They're iconic, they're, they're part of the history of the 1960s and 70s and 80s. What I think of when I hear the word mini is Mr Bean brushing his teeth whilst his head's out the window. Yeah. I want to, I want to do, yeah. no I don't want to do that. So you're going to retire and then you're going to do your mini restoration oh. project. So currently I'm not insured so I can't drive it right now but I can turn the engine. But I can. You can drive, oh you, you can drive it now. Mm. Should we go for a little... Yeah. Okay, let's swap seats. I'm in the wrong seat here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this will be the face of that. We'll go over here. I'm getting lethargic and hungry, so I'm gonna grab some lunch. My next door neighbor has just started a Bushfire. Well, things have escalated rather quickly. Um, the fire is now halfway across the field. Excitement over. I'm going to get back on the van build. Today Alex is learning how to use these runners and I just watched a couple of YouTube videos and I was trying to work out how you disconnect the two pieces because one bit has to go on the drawer and the other bit has to go on the carcass. So this pulls out and then there's a little thing here which you pull back 
and then it releases that outside bit, like so. That is the first piece in place. Lovely. I can't quite believe it, I did something, which is quite cool. Now if you saw the details, you'd realise how not straight everything is. It, everything is slightly out because I did it. It does the job though, I think. Like, it's a drawer and it pulls out. Tailgate goes up, it's raining, so you know, I've got cover. And then I just slide out this. I'll put ply over the top of this so I can use it as like a work surface. And then we do some cooking. And all the oil that splatters off the frying pan goes outside instead of in my van. I guess I'll just keep on going tomorrow. This is a long, long project. Day two. Today I'm going to try and finish off the bed in my van. Today I made the second half of the bed, which was pretty much the same as what I did the day before. The only difference with this part was that I put a hinged door on it rather than it being a running drawer. Hinges. Finally, I managed to get the hinge on. Look at that. I don't quite fit. Got both the sections of the bed. I'm gonna sand it down, make it nice and smooth. That's really cool. I've now secured the whole of the bed to the floor, so this isn't going anywhere. And now I'm getting ready to work on the next thing. Oh gosh, this feels like a never ending project. It's time to fix my solar panel to the roof of my van. I've got some wire cutters because I need to cut off the end parts of the wire because currently they've got this weird connector thing on them. Screwdriver. Self-tapping screw. Is on the roof. I started putting all my essential cooking equipment in the drawer so I could size up and make compartments for everything. After a day break from the woodwork, it was time again to cut some more wood. This time I needed to fit the ply wall panels. I've spent all day cutting the panels for the walls and the ceiling. This is the last one. I can't put the roof one on yet because there needs to be some wiring done for the lights. Yeah, look at that. All of the walls applied. I've cut the one to the roof, but I can't put that on just yet. Looking more like a camper. It's not gonna be a very interesting camper. It's very basic, just ply line, but that's all I need, really. Wow, the guys at Southern Foam, they came into my van, measured it, and made the price, got everything sorted. Great service. I'm getting a bed for my, for my van. I've just gotta focus on getting the electrics fitted, and the rest of the woodwork done. More wood, let's finish this van. The last few days have been really tough. It's been like 35 degrees C. I've got to make some carcassing for the last pieces of furniture. And then next week, I just have to sort out the electrics and then we're ready to hit the road and head around Europe. I think the fridge is actually gonna go near the front here. So it's a matter of days before I head around Europe and this is how the van looks at the moment. I've got a bed with a pull-out drawer. I still need to get the mattress. That has been ordered and it's being cut to size so it will perfectly fit on top of the bed. I'm also handing my van over to an electrician in a couple of days and he is going to hopefully help me wire everything up because I still haven't managed to do that myself. I've got to fit the roof. Then there's one more bit of furniture that I'm going to put up there 
which I need to fit in place, but I can only do that once the electrics is done. So it's, it should all be done by the end of this week. And I'm really excited. Thanks for watching this van conversion episode. Stay tuned for the next one where I will be finishing the van.